This lesson is covering how to find the percentage of a number, finding the percent of a number. And the key thing you need to remember is you're going to slide then multiply. So let's check out some examples on how to do this. What is 12% of 20? Well, to figure this out, you're going to basically transfer this into a uh, math expression. You're going to make your percentage into a decimal by sliding the decimal two places to the left. And then you're going to multiply the two numbers. So 12% becomes, its decimal is currently right there. And it's going to slide two to the left. It's going to become 12 hundredths, and you're multiplying by 20. You work that out and you're gonna get two and four tenths. So two and four tenths is 12% of 20. Moving on. What is 45% of 60? You're gonna make your percentage into a decimal and then multiply by the 60. So we're gonna take our decimal, which is right after the number, and then sliding two over, so we get this. And then you're gonna multiply those out and you get 27. So 27 is 45% of 60. So for this next batch, go ahead and pause. Try these four problems, and then hit play when you're done. First, we're going to do this 32% of 50. That's going to become 32 hundredths times 50, and that works out to 16. So now we have the 5% of 18. Just remember you're sliding that decimal two places to the left so it's gonna become 0.05. A lot of kids will mess up and just put a 0.5. Uh, when you work it out, you get 0.9 or 9 tenths. 9% of 80. We're gonna do 0.09 times 80 and you get seven and two tenths. 15% of 100 is going to be 0.15 times 100, and it actually works back out to 15. And when you think about it, 15% means 15 out of 100, so 15% of 100 is 15. Moving on. Go ahead and pause these. Try working them out. 40% of 40, 0.4 times 40, 16. 4.5% of 65, or 4.5% of 65. Slide two places over, you get this, 0.045. And then, there you go, 2 and 925 thousandths. Moving forward in these, sometimes they'll say round to the nearest hundredth or tenth. This one didn't say to round or anything, so you just leave it as it is. Here's another one where there's a decimal in the percent, and some folks will say, oh, it already has a decimal, I don't need to do anything. You slide it two places over still, and you get this. You work that out, and you get 5.476. So here we have a really large percentage. 120% is going to become 1.2 times 70. And then you multiply that out, you get 84. Go ahead and pause these. Try doing these. This is your last batch of problems. So we have 8.2% becoming 82 thousandths. And you multiply by 500, you get 41. Next we have half a percent of 90, or 0.5%. Slide it two places over. It's going to be 0 0.005, or 5 thousandths, times 90 you're going to get 45 hundredths. If we go down here and do 350% of 25, that's going to become 3.5 times 25, and you get 87 and a half, or 87.5. Finally, we have 500% of 40. 500% is actually 5 when you convert it. You slide that decimal two places over, it becomes a 5. 5 times 40 is going to be 200. That's about it. Hope this helps. Best of luck to you.